garden is such a beautiful place to be in this time of year. And it can be some very and it can be a very inspiring place to be sat in. Some people just like to relax and take it all in. Others like to read books. And a lot of people like just to potter and garden. I love watching insects. I love seeing what they do and how they interact with each other. So little but so strong. And they all have a key factor somewhere in the, in the chain of our nature that's in the garden. I love bees in particular. They are probably the most valuable insect that we have on the planet right now. Without them, we wouldn't have any pollination. I want to be part of the bee cause. Are you ready to earn your wings, they say. Well, this is what inspired me today to do an art project based from the garden again and what we can find and how we can make it into a bee. Beautiful scenery this morning. There are bees everywhere. I was always under the impression that we just had one bee in the garden. How wrong was I? I've got a bee identification guide here. Look how many bees there are. Unbelievable. So I've been in the garden looking around. I didn't want to pick flowers that I might have bought from a garden centre. I wanted to pick the weeds. These are the flowers that just seem to pop up everywhere. And they are just weeds. It's a dandelion. But that gave me inspiration for our project. So did this kind of one. And a daisy. It's amazing what you can do with just a few flowers. I chose this picture of a bee. Because this is probably the one we see the most on all our flowers in the garden. So just begin by drawing a simple outline sketch of this bumblebee drawing. It doesn't have to be too intricate, just a line. So I've picked a dandelion. Namely because of its texture. And just breaking it off and gluing it into place. I chose these flowers mainly because they look quite fluffy and when you look at a bumblebee up close, this particular breed, it does look quite fluffy and cute. Apply this process all over with the yellow where you would like to put the yellow. Always refer back to the picture These are so beautiful. Most people blow them and make a wish. But I want to use them in my wings. So again the same process applies. Put some glue on and pick them and stick them. I'm only going to use them on the top part of my wings because for the bottom half I want to use a different texture so you can def define the upper and the lower wings so now I'm just going to have the daisy petals To do this technique to both wings. Our bumblebee that we're doing right now has a little fluffy white bum. So we're going to use the daisy flower to put in a little white bum. Again, just pull off the petals and stick down.
So your picture should be looking a bit like this at the moment. This is the collage side of things. We are going to use mixed media. So now we've gone back to my felts. These are my brush felts. But I just want a brown and a black. So take another look back at the picture of the bee for reference. And you're just using the colours that you can see now. So we've got the black areas and some brown areas. So just simply begin by defining using the markers. You don't have to be too particular because if you can see there's a very fluffy looking outlines. So apply this technique all over and take your time, you don't need to rush it. So that's some of the body done. I'm still trying to put some detail now into the legs. There's another four sets yet to do, but again, just follow this technique until all the legs are done. Using the brown felt, just gently do an outline. Do the same to the other wing. So that's it. Your finished bumblebee artwork. Try a few different bugs.